If you're talking about po- – look, the Braves are going to be in the postseason, right? Mm-hmm. You know, the Mets are trying to get there, Frank. But if you're just – since they're playing, if you're picking between the two, who is actually better built, we'll say, to knock off the Dodgers in the postseason? Sure. Well, I said, right, as you said a few minutes ago, if the, if the Mets get to the, get to the playoffs – all best off from everything, all the scenarios we've had before because of that starting pitching. They got guys just like Houston that can go deep in the ball game, take the pressure off their bullpen, and shut you down. DeGrom, Thor back-to-back, mix in Willer or Strowman. I mean, you got a, you got a long f- f- five-game series, seven-game series when you face these guys. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet against these guys if they make it to the, to, to the playoffs. Well, I'm telling you, with as electric as the Braves are right now, there's still a lot of question marks in my mind. Who's going to be the number one starter for the Braves come playoff time? Who's going to be the number two guy, right? Who's going to be shutting down the games? Is it going to be Mark Melanson? It's going to be Green? Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Jackson at the back end of the bullpen? I think the Braves have enough, you know, leverage in the division to be able to figure these things out. But I think the one thing that we haven't counted on is the Mets' offense, mm-hmm. right? J.D. Davis has been absolutely phenomenal. Rosario has been amazing, right? Conforto and the Polar Bear doing their thing. I think this is the X factor. Because if the Mets do find themselves in the playoffs, we know that starting pitching rotation is amazing. We know the back end of that bullpen has had struggles, but they have some big names and guys that can get it done. This right here, the walk-off wins, the excitement, this is the X factor that I look for because I'm telling you, man, like you said, Marcus Stroman coming over there, bringing these boys some energy over there in Flushing. KB, you've seen it when there's big crowds. They went to the World Series before. This team has what it takes. No, no doubt. I don't disagree with anything you guys said. I think the one thing I'll throw in there, and there are guys on the Mets who obviously have been in the playoffs in the World Series, you know, DeGrom, Conforto, Mm -hmm. you can go down the list, but the Braves were just there last Last year with all these young guys, they had a big – I know they lost the series, but that big win against the Dodgers with the Acuna Grand Slam, I felt like, Frank, that gave them a little juice that they could build on this year going into the The Braves got a great team. I'm not second-guessing the Braves. Fulton Nevich looked amazing tonight. He He did did look He looked like he could be the ace. You're talking about going into the playoffs of the World Series. But also, you know, with these guys – I don't know. They, you know. Not having that pitching right. I saw Sean Newcomb tonight. He could be that closer. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you That's saw that guy point. throw the baseball tonight. He was throwing 90, pinpoint 97 like that. Mm-hmm. They might have to just lean it within to finally find that closer and it could be Sean Newcomb. That's what's going to take to complete their puzzle to get to the next level. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they're going to – they got some time to figure it out because they have a nice little lead. But, uh, yep. you know, they do nonetheless have, have to figure it out. So let's just say for hypothetical, they meet in the World Series. Who's got the edge? Oh, come on, you're asking me, bro? Yeah, I'm asking hey, you. Hey, man, I, I, I'm definitely going to say the New York Yankees, and these are the reasons why. James Paxson going out and doing what a number one starter should be doing in a situation like this. Picking up the squad when he needed to. Rough three games in Oakland. Uh, Offense wasn't even there. Pitching struggled. But I'm telling you, it just goes to show you with that unbelievable offense that they have, guys are still coming back. The bullpen is tremendous. If you can get some sort of decent starts out of your starting pitching, the Yankees have a chance to win their 28th World Series. You know, I told you I was flipping this all the way to game time. You know, I think about this. You might be right. Where, the Yankees, where, where are you the go? Yankees got the left-handed pitcher that Mike can give the Dodgers trouble. Mm-hmm. You know, because Bellinger and all those guys, Muncy and Bellinger, but I'm going to stick with what I said in the meeting. I like the Dodgers at this point mm-hmm. because they will have a home field advantage. And I think this series, if this is the World Series, it would be another 4-3, and I think the Dodgers finally get over the hump this year. I yeah. thought you were going to do some flopping there, Frank. No, no I think, shocker. No, but I started thinking about the left-handed pitching. The left-handed yep. pitching could give the Dodgers trouble in the playoffs of the World Series. So I, I'm, I'm still – I'm going to – Stay where I'm at earlier today. I'm going to stick with the Dodgers right now because of whole field. You know, the one thing is, is, and you bring up a good point, you know, Paxton, when they got him, the Yankees thought that he was going to be their game one the playoff guy. starter, right? Yes, sir. And he hasn't been that all year. He's been hurt when he's been healthy. He's been up and down. So if he starts pitching like that, that changes the whole game. Everything. Doesn't it? Well, you saw the velocity, 96, 97, 98 miles an hour. That's when things are going well for James Paxton. Big Maple has that thunder in his left arm. We've seen that. The velocity kind of dips from low to high. But if he's healthy, which is exactly what he looked like he was tonight, huge game, energy flowing, 96 to 98 miles an hour, I'll take James Paxton any Frank, night. Frank, who's the uh, home run more impressive so far tonight, Gary Sanchez or Nick Swisher's against Larry that's Jones? That's got to be Nick Swisher. Oh, that's what I thought, Frank. He had his shades on. That's Come right. on, man. He pimped and walked in, looking for high fives that's as he walked around the bases. <laughs> I'm going to give it to my man, Super Swish. It's been a minute, man. I had to soak it up, you know? It's been I a don't minute. blame you. It was a big moment. <laughs> I don't blame you. 